Uh, so I didn't have an opportunity to read this thing. So I figured let's read it on stream uh, and then let's uh, we'll pull in chisel. Probably pull and chisel here in just a minute here um, and uh, talk a little bit about about this. It's funny. The extra the extra light from that monitor is really, really blowing me out. Holy crap. <laughs> Jesus, I know I'm white, but come on, please. Uh, let's see. Uh, so let's go ahead and we get chisel on the line. Yeah. Yeah, because I really want to read this. Like, there's a lot of information coming out of it. People are, you know, they're interpreting, they're interpreting it however they're interpreting it. And it's it's difficult to, uh, you know, I don't want to just basically take it as, oh, well, this person said blank, which means it probably said this. No, I'd rather just read it myself. <laughs> and then, and then, uh, uh, you know, form my own opinions and whatever uh, on it. So, <clears throat> we will probably, probably watch, uh, do a restream of the actual town hall as well, which starts at 2 so, let's see what happens. First, let's get our field correspondent, who is on site right now, Mr. Shizzle. Let's go ahead and bring him on board here. All right, uh, I'm going to read this thing uh, while, you, while you do your thing here. I know you've already read I'm, it, right? I'm, I'm still here. <clears throat> you can just read it out loud. Will do. All right. To our Twitch community, today we are sharing an update to our community guidelines. This is just the first of many improvements coming to the policies, moderation processes, and safety features on Twitch. We use community guidelines to keep the community strong and safe. These guidelines detail the content supported on Twitch, rules for streamers and viewers, and much more. Our goal is to ensure Twitch is a safe place, is a place where everyone, every time I see the word place, I immediately put safe behind it. Uh, our goal is to ensure yeah, Twitch is a place where everyone feels welcome and we'll continue, we will continue to listen to you as we grow and adapt these policies as needed. The story so far! Twitch began with a single core idea, stream video games online. That simple hook attracted viewers, but they stuck around because of you, the streamers, built communities. Uh, built communities. You built a place viewers felt welcome, a, pl a place they could turn for laughter, gameplay, or friendship. And as you began to inject more of your personality and, and interest, you told us you wanted the freedom to create content when you weren't gaming. So last year, we loosened our restrictions on non-gaming content. This let you bring as much of your life to Twitch as you wanted. It let you broaden your community uh, or build new communities in areas like board gaming, talk shows, creative, music, fitness, and IRL, just to name a few. By sharing yourself on Twitch, you let Twitch become a part of your life, and we're grateful for that privilege. Over the past couple, several months, you've told us certain sections of the community guidelines were not clear enough, or in some cases not strong enough to govern this ever-changing landscape, and we were too slow to act. To begin addressing this, we're rolling out a series of updates to the policies, moderation processes, and products that guide interpersonal interaction on Twitch. Today's focus on our anti today's focus on our anti-harassment and sexual content policies. Today's, sorry, today's update focuses on our can't read uh, anti-harassment and sexual content policies. Our goal is to increase clarity, strength, and consistency across our entire moderation framework, as well as the frequency and level of detail of our moderation communities. You helped us build Twitch. You are Twitch, and it's our job to make you proud of the Twitch community. Anti-harassment and hateful conduct policies. We want everyone to not only feel welcome on Twitch, but to be proud to be part of the community. To that end, we are strengthening our stance on harassment and hate. First, conduct we deem to be hateful will result in an immediate and indefinite suspension. Hate simply has no place in the Twitch community. Additionally, we will now consider verifiable hate and harassing conduct that takes place off Twitch when making moderation decisions for actions that occur on Twitch. If you use other services to direct hate or harassment towards someone on Twitch, we will consider it a violation of Twitch's policies. This is like Reddit or Twitter or whatever. <clears throat> um, well, how funny. Your mic has been transmitting for 30 seconds. Spotify playback paused. Oh, wow. Jeez. Let's take over my life, Discord. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, da -da -da -da. We are also updating our moderation framework to pay close attention to the context and intent in addition to the words or action used. Please remember, even if you're just joking with your friends, you're still choosing to stream on a service that reaches a larger audience. Sexual con content. Scroll down. Twitch is an open global community with users of many ages and cultures. Because of this, it's important that your content is not sexual in nature. Nature. We're updating our moderation framework to review your conduct in its entirety when evaluating if the intent is to be sexually suggestive. We'll be looking at contextual elements such as the stream title, camera, angle, camera angles, emotes, panels, attire, overlays, and chat moderation. Offering access to prohibited sexual content such as lewds in, uh, on Twitch remains prohibited. That's essentially uh, people on uh, uh, Patreon and whatnot. 
Um, Attire in gaming streams, most at-home streams, and all profile slash channel imagery should be appropriate for a public street, mall, or restaurant. As a reminder, we will not tolerate using this policy as a basis to harass streamers on or off Twitch, regardless of whether you think they're breaking this rule. The transition period. The full changes are available in the revised community guidelines. You can read some examples and learn even more about how these changes may affect you uh, in our corresponding help articles on anti-harassment and sexual content. These new rules will go into effect Monday, February 19th, 9 a.m. Pacific time, which is, uh, what, not next week, Monday, like but the following. Two weeks from now-ish. Yeah. Uh, until then, we'll continue operating under the former community guidelines. You must remove clips and VODs that violate the new guidelines before they go into effect. During the transition period, we'll be reaching out to some streamers whose current and past content may violate these new guidelines to help you be successful on Twitch. Our goal is to ensure everyone understands and adheres to the updated community guidelines so you can keep creating content for your communities. I can imagine there's probably some people, including myself, it's like, have I streamed anything in the past three months that's uh, maybe been kind of uh, whatever, uh, pushing the boundaries, but I don't think so. Um, a better Twitch for everyone. Guiding the community is an enormous responsibility that one we take to heart. Today's, update is, uh, today's updates are a major step forward and are just the beginning of our work. We're committed to making you all feel welcome on Twitch, and we will be increasing the frequency of communication, policy updates, and products to support this mission. In the coming months, we will be revisiting our enforcement policies for both partners and non-partners, our appeals process, IRL guidelines, and preventing user-to-user -user harassment. You can also expect significant improvements to AutoMod, Twitch's automated chat moderation system. Every day, tens of thousands of our streamers press the Go Live button and create amazing shared experiences for the communities. Whichever side of the screen you're on, thank you for making Twitch the special place it is. We will continue doing our part to make Twitch even better. And so that's it. <clears throat> that's the stuff. Uh, yep. Basically, hey, we're, we're going to finally get our shit together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's definitely been a... Um, there's definitely been a, like, a feeling that, that Twitch hasn't been... Uh, enforcing yeah. or, or that they haven't been enforcing them uh maybe necessarily like evenly you know much at all or fairly. Or, and also like une unequally yeah like, i've been saying this shit for a while like i was on a was it the fucking the rp podcast how to hold podcast uh, mm -hmm. whenever they needed a filler fucking months ago and people were talking about like the latest like booby streamer fucking drama and shit people were freaking out about twitter or whatever and i was like it's just gonna be a matter of time before either somebody else like steps in and causes a big fucking hubbub for twitch so they either better fucking get their shit together now or like someone's gonna cause a big deal because something's gonna happen and then you see articles like <laughs> oh man it's just <clears throat> yeah i guess it's a good thing they're at least doing it now as opposed to letting somebody else fucking step in and like call them out and cause trouble for the site you know yeah yeah exactly uh and actually i'm gonna go ahead and oh i can't do that without making everything super big so how about we just do that there we go i didn't want to open up new windows while other things running here uh so i don't you see this is is this the modified two seven okay um, yeah, I'll be honest, I don't have the original memorized, so I don't know if, uh, which one is different or not, but I'll go right to the, uh, uh, to the nudity, uh, nudity, and I think probably the hateful conduct and harassment, these are the ones that are probably the most recently updated, uh, self destructive behavior, I actually know a lot of these, actually, suspension evasion, so yeah, breaking the law, that's obvious, suspension evasion, that's obvious too, if you get suspended, you're, you're, uh, you don't make another fucking account. <laughs> That's not going to do you any good in the long run. Um, Self-destructive behavior. Any activity that may endanger your life or lead to physical harm is prohibited. This includes what is not limited to suicide th uh, threats, intentional physical trauma, or the illegal uh, or use of illegal drugs, and drinking excessively. Drinking excessively. That's actually kind of interesting. Yeah, that's going to be fun and interesting because there are some people who are just like, sub goals, every, we drink every time we sub, and people just get like complete, like, fucking like trash. alcohol poisoning levels. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Not to mention people that... Uh, like, I mean, that's, 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 I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to nitpick this whole thing, right? Like, but that does feel kind of subjective because like, I mean, there's been nights people are like, oh, Mike B's drunk. And it's like, no, I have not had anything to drink. This is just yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. That, that'll be interesting how they try and force it. I think it's more like excessive drinking on stream when like, yeah, yeah I don't. I'm, when it's like related to goals. Like I you think said. a lot of that shit, like, I would assume Twitch staff would be fairly uh, comprehensive in their search like if you know, like they can't really prove shit if you're doing it off stream you know yeah yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah it's not gonna be like well mike b seemed like he was super drunk this night like, that's not gonna get that's not gonna get any suspended yeah. but but yeah you're right like if somebody's like oh man every new sub take another shot and they're just completely shit faces like yeah that's that's uh that's different um 
Yeah. The illegal the illegal drugs thing, that's kind of that's kind of funny because like weed is illegal still in like half the country. <laughs> yeah. So they just have to put up a state flag of where they're at and like right. I know. So here's on, here's today's diesel, newspaper. Completely legal nuts. <laughs> here's today's paper. <laughs> it's just like the, the San Jose or the San Francisco yeah, gate or whatever. Times. Boom, here you go. Yep. You guys. <laughs> um let's see. Uh also, I saw somewhere else self-destructive behavior uh, was um, was uh, uh, also related to like driving. You know, like they don't want you can't drive while holding the phone or something like that. You have to have it Ooh. mounted. Sorry, I almost got fucking destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, violence and threats. Uh, this is pretty obvious. I don't think we need to read that. Uh, hateful conduct and harassment. Hateful conduct is any content that promotes and encourages or facilitates discrimination, denigration, objectification, harassment, or violence based on race, ethnicity. National origin, region, sex, gender, gender identity, sexual orientation, age, disability, mental, medical condition, physical characteristics, or veteran status, and is prohibited. Oh, interesting! Veteran status is up there. Woo woo. Um, huh? Any yeah, how many people are hating on veterans on Twitch, Mike? I don't know. I'm sure somebody out there has. I'm sure. I'm sure somebody out there has. It's it's yeah. Uh, any hateful conduct is considered a zero tolerance violation, and all accounts associated with such conduct will be indefinitely suspended. Uh. Let's see. You know, that promotes, encourages, or facilitates discrimination, denigration, or objectification, harassment. I wonder if uh, Dr. Disrespect falls under this. <laughs> yeah, especially after <laughs> that, that article. I had I no know. idea. After that you know article. What's fucked up is like, I don't really watch the dude. Not really my thing. Whatever. I'm not a fan of like people who have to like put on a character to stream, but people watch it. So it's like, whatever. You know, people, it's his own choice. I'm not going to, you know, judge him for that. Uh, I, you know, months ago, I saw like a clip of him like dancing. I'm like, all right. I, I, I go from neutral to he's he's okay you know yeah and then, yeah and then he and he just disappears and the reason why i'm like okay whatever you know i'll reserve my own judgment for that but then it's like all right i'll watch his comeback stream to see what the fuck's going on even though i'm probably never gonna watch him again because you know i don't really care you know right yeah and yeah. you know he gets he gets a good chicken dinner i'm like oh that was, that was a damn good game but like <laughs> in the middle of it in the middle of that chicken dinner of his first game back of like a 12 kill win that was actually really good even though he had two awm spawn on him <laughs> Technical, technical. Uh, no, no, it was a good run, but it's just like holy streamer on G, you know, like, uh, motherfucker, like he started uh, doing what that article says, and I'm like, I thought I, I have no idea, like I don't speak any of that, so like I thought he was, I thought he actually was fluent in Chinese, something like that. I was like, the fuck's this guy saying? Whatever, and like that's the only time I ever saw like any of that on his stream, because again, I don't want to watch him, you know? Right, yeah, yeah. Wait, but wait, wait, then wait. I see that article linked, and I'm like, oh. Happens more oh, often than you think. Right? That just put that whole stream into context. Oh, uh, oh yeah, man. that's like, kind of funny. So that'll be interesting. Yeah. Um, let's see. Unauthorized sharing of private information. This is pretty obvious. Impersonation, yeah, whatever. Content or activity meant to impersonate an individual, or organization, or organization is prohibited. Any attempts to misrepresent. Okay, that's that's pretty obvious. I think. Has there been any cases of somebody impersonating somebody else? I I feel like when it's uh when it's anonymous. Uh, I've, I mean, like, chat people who, like, rolled, you know, the name of, like, you know, to harass a streamer, they've been banned, like, you know, this person's, like, you know, fucking, like, I've had, like, people, like, come into different, like, body parts, like, foot and whatever, it's like, okay, sometimes it's like, alright, you know what, you're just doing it for the lulls, I'm still gonna ban you because you should have your name, but I've seen other people just re-roll, like, non-stop, like, if you were to try and, like, friends list my name, you'll probably find, like, 40 different accounts with my name, like, starting with, and then, oh, person, you know? yeah, I see what you're saying, so, yeah, <clears throat> So it's like, uh, it, it, you know, I don't think I need people actually trying to get away with it as a streamer, but like, I don't think I was trying to get away as streaming as me, you know? Yeah. Like, like no, no, it's not going to happen, but chat impersonation definitely tries to happen all its fucking time. Um, <laughs> I'll, it wouldn't surprise me though. If people are out there just like, like just trying to steal it, oh, overlays and like try and pass that shit off completely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, spam scam, other malicious content. This is, uh, we don't need to talk but about this. The impersonation was probably there before. Uh, probably, yeah. Again, like, it's not, there's not nothing here that says what's new, what's not. Um, uh, there might be another page that says it, but, I mean, it, maybe this is a good refresher for everybody on what exactly the rules are. Uh, like, for example, nudity, pornography, and other sexual content. Nudity and sexually explicit content or activities such as pornography, sexual acts, or intercourse, and sexual services are prohibited. I appreciate they put sexual services at the end, as if, like, the other things didn't quite cover that well enough <laughs> it's like 
<laughs> sexual acts or intercourse and sexual services. It's like, how do, how do these things, there's a lot of overlap between these things, I think. Uh, content or activities that threaten or promote sexual violence and, or expo exploitation are strictly prohibited and may be reported to law enforcement. That's pretty obvious. Child exploitation, uh, it's obvious. Sexual aggression, aggress uh, sexually suggestive content or activities are also prohibited, although they may be allowed in educational contests or context or for pre-approved licensed content in each case subject to additional restrictions uh and let's see is there a is there another rip nude art studio yeah uh there's actually another page to learn more about sex or sexual content and enforcement i'm actually very curious about this uh oh here we go now we're going into some serious detail Woo, boy this is smart you need a whole page for this has this been here oh yeah oh <clears throat> yeah this page has been here no, no, it's oh, okay, not. It's, okay. it's good that there's that, that, that actual, actual, like, breaking it down. Now, yeah. again, the, the thing is, though, like, it's all fun and dandy having rules laying this all out if it doesn't actually get enforced and or enforced equally still. Yeah, oh, of course, yeah, it's yeah. Still at least going in the right direction. Yeah. Uh, we restricted some of it's pretty funny, the... though, as well. It's like it's... Some, I know some people are going to interpret it like, 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 oh, it's very loose. And the people are like, no, it's very strict. It's like, what? but you can't have, you can't even have nips poking through your shirt now, huh? Because there's even like a, <laughs> a section about that. Like, Is there? Okay. Let me, let me get there. Let me get there. Okay. Sexual violence. We're going to skip. That's that. That should be super obvious. There's actually no discussion there. Uh, sexually explicit content, which should also be you know super uh, clear, but it's not. Uh, sexually explicit content and activities such as pornography, sexual. Oh, we already did this already. Broadcasting in areas where nudity and sexual sexual activity may be taking place, even if such content or activity is not in the direction of the broadcaster or takes place in the background of the broadcast, is prohibited. Uh, Andy Milanakis actually had a. There's a clip floating around somewhere, not on Twitch anymore, um, but. Uh, he was streaming somewhere and there's this girl he was talking to and uh, she just like all of a sudden just goes and whips them out, like just whips out her boobs. And I have never seen Andy move this fast, dude. Like he must have seen this shit coming at the corner of his eye and just fucking whip that camera around so fast. Did you say his boob senses were tingling? <laughs> yeah, yes. Yes, exactly. Nip alert, nip alert. Whoop. He just, wow, just spun that camera so quickly. Uh, but that kind of shit could actually happen. I mean, anywhere. That's not, I mean, when you're outside or at a bar, you don't necessarily expect, you know, it's like, oh, well, this is a place where I would expect to come and see nudity on a regular. Uh, and, you know, these IRL streamers need to be obviously more careful about that. Um, well, the thing is, I just, uh, read that section again. Uh, it says broadcasting in bro broadcasting in areas where nudity or sexual activity may be taking place, even if such conduct or activity is not at the direction of the broadcaster or takes place in the background of the broadcast, is prohibited. Yeah, so basically, don't go to a nude oh, beach. Baby. But if someone you know whipped them out at a regular beach, like you're not going to get. I mean, you know, you should, Thank you, bud. you should definitely get it off. You know, the stream. But like, I don't <clears> think <throat> they would. Like, if someone just whips them out at the beach in the background, like way in the background, and like they're not doing the stream, and the streamer covers it up, like I don't think they would go after that streamer. Yeah, 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 totally. I think they would have some discretion. So I know some people are like, oh, there it is, bent yeah. down everything. But what if someone yeah. whips about it in a bar? It's like, bro, you're not going to. Yeah. No, no, no my, my, my comment was just, it was just more of a, like, kind of an add-on story because I thought it was hilarious about how quickly oh, he, no, no, I he reacted agree. to such. Like that, I 100% believe that. I'm sure it's probably it's happened as in more streams than just that one. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, sexually suggestive content. Uh, sexually suggestive content is prohibited. When reviewing this type of sexual content or activity, we will consider its intent and context based on a number of factors, including, but not limited to, behavior and commentary, reaction to content such as chat messages from the broadcaster moderators and what chat messages they permit in their community, uh, attire and environment such as location, background music, props, etc. Props. <laughs> <laughs> camera framing angle and focus oh this is a good one too uh stream attributes such as title intros custom thumbnail and other meta metadata uh profile and channel content such as banners profile images emotes and panels uh i mean that's that's that covers just about everything that you would that you, where you would find sexually suggestive content uh curious to see i guess how those are handled because it's still it lists all the things that they don't that they don't want to steal you know, how they would assess certain things as being sexually suggestive uh but i guess it really comes down to like you said uh how it's enforced in the future <clears throat> um nudity and attire we expect creators to wear attire that is appropriate uh public attire for a given context intent or activity for game streams most at home streams and profile channel imagery attire should be appropriate for public settings such as what you would wear on a public street or to a mall or restaurant. For example, for a fitness stream or an IRL stream from a location such as a public beach, attire appropriate to those public contexts is allowed, such as workout clothes or a swimsuit, respectively. Attire intended to be sexually suggestive and nudity are prohibited. 
Uh, attire or lack of attire intended to be sexually suggestive includes undergarments, intimate apparel, or exposing, focusing on male or female genitals, buttocks, or nipples. Uh, well, again, lack of attire is like, what if someone forgets a bra and like, oh, well, <laughs> I mean, it's chilly out today. <laughs> Like, this I is... can totally see that's going to be something someone nitpicks and like that's, that's no, they, no, that's not what they mean. It, it is. Probably. It is something that uh, has been nitpicked uh, already. Uh, seriously, Claire. Nit- oh, God. Wait, did you say it first? You said it yet. Yeah. Damn, that was good. Uh, 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 that's why I get the big bucks chat. So um, somebody made a drawing. Somebody made a drawing uh, that feels a lot like like a uh, uh, high school style. Like, she basically says, this is okay, this is not okay. Like, how hard is it just to basically put something like this up? And just so, uh, what it is you can and can't do. Obviously, this particular image is uh, focusing on the uh, female uh, form, but uh, surely, like, there are rules or something like that, that, uh, according to this person, uh, that can be spelled out a little bit more clearly by, you know, showing. And this, this it feels like high school because, you know, remember in high school, it was like, uh, if, you're, if you put your hands at your side and your fingertips go past your dress, then it's too short. Or like, or bare midriffs Mike, what, or whatever. What school were you going to? Were you wearing dresses? I, I grew up in Vegas, dude. I always I, I cross dress all the time. Uh, no, no, no. It was all right, a <laughs> no, you know no. What? It's it's the same rules judging. everywhere. Is same. You had those rules too. No. I mean, uh, for the for for the I mean for the dudes there were like no rules because outside of uh, there just if there was a dress code it was never mentioned. Yeah, well, the dress code was like, yeah, actually, there, there was like the, the the dress code was pretty much written for uh for females uh, at at high school, if I recall. Um, yeah, it was basically like low cut stuff, uh, bare midriff, uh, fingers can't the thing is, go you past grew up, the thing. Yeah. See, you grew up in Vegas, so like it was hot there a lot of the year. It wasn't hot where we were a lot of the year, you know. So that's true. That's probably why they didn't really point anything out because it's like, yeah, I freeze your tits off. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's probably why. That's true. That's true. Yeah, when it's a, when it's 110 degrees out and you're going to school, uh, yeah, <laughs> you're gonna wear you're gonna you're gonna wear something. Well, you're gonna wear whatever is fashionable. You're not gonna wear something that's actually comfortable, of course. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's another thing that's gonna just come down to like how they enforce it. And they even said in a recent tweet, you know, hold us accountable. Uh, actually, I think I might have the tweet here somewhere um, where they said very specifically, you know, oh, yeah, please watch us closely and hold us accountable. The fir- this first update clarifies our guidelines, what we know will be judged and how we enforce them. Look. F- for more communication about our enforcement policies in the coming months. So yeah, that's that's going to be uh, obviously what everybody looks forward to is how it's enforced. And I think there's going to be uh, a lot of bias in the I guess the community reporting of that. You know, like if you mm-hmm. do, if you only frequent like r slash live stream fails, you're only going to hear about the uh, the women who are skirting the rules according to them, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and again, like <laughs> they, it's still uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just it's, it's going to be. It's, I'm more interested, like, again, these are all, it's, it's good they finally actually have some policy in place and all, but again, it's really more about down to how and if they're going to be imp- uh, enforcing this and equally, you know? It's yeah. like, I, as somebody I, I, who's I, been I, doing, it, doing it vanilla this entire time, I don't give a fuck about any of this shit because none of it applies. None of it applies to me I, I just because play, you wear I just clothes. Play games. Because I don't have a camera and I just play <laughs> games, man, and I'm not an asshole to other people. <laughs> like, the worst you, you get is me ripping you're somebody clothes. new one as they get banned out the door. And now at this point, if they fucking come at me on Twitter, I can be like, all right, ban his account, please. Can you can you <laughs> joke about it. can you joke about not wearing pants on stream because you don't have a webcam? Is that that's not covered under here, uh, I don't think. <laughs> bro, as far as Twitch is concerned, I'm a artificial AI living in their server racks they oh, still know about. Oh man. Oh man. I'm just saying. Also, I'm not gonna yeah. lie. Uh did you uh, see uh a small tangent here? Did you see um Thad's uh their podcast in VR chat? Yeah. Now, did you you saw Thad's wrestling stuff, right? Uh, I've seen his wrestling stuff before, yeah. So but... I'm really tempted to ask him for his save file and then extract my character model and then just rip off the head and put on a like a a flat screen TV and then put my logo on that and like then like animate the mouth and put that in VR chat. Like then I'd actually bother with VR chat. Do it, <laughs> yeah, man. Dude. I have a custom fucking T1000 character. I think you would. I think you would love. I think you would love VR chat. Yeah, you should get in there, and hang out with uh, Darnell and Legs. <laughs> Um, we'll find that guy who found Darnell. <laughs> speaking, oh god, yeah, the the anti knuckles meme group. We're gonna we're, we're gonna no anyways. no no the guy who the guy who knows me but doesn't who knows who doesn't know Darnell but knows Mike. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's yeah. I just have to edit that that video. That's so good. Okay, wait. Speaking Spoilers. of VR chat, speaking of VR chat, nudity and sexual content in games. 
Uh, games featuring nudity, pornograph- pornography, sex, or sexual violence as a core focus or feature, and gameplay modified to feature these elements are entirely prohibited. Uh, this is like a uh, waifu sex simulator or something, uh, or VR titties. Like, obviously, those two things probably wouldn't fly here. Um, <clears throat> Uh, but it does say gameplay modified to feature these elements, so that would also include VR chat technically, because the custom models uh, is is a, a way to mod to feature elements like that. Um, let's see. Uh, wait, I miss. I've lost my place here. Oh, occurrences of in-game nudity are permitted so long as you do not make them the primary focus of your content and only spend as much time needed in area to make progress. Game rated uh, games rated adults only by the ASRB are not permitted in gameplay oriented broadcasts or com- or complete or unedited formats uh, on Twitch. So that's so yeah the uh, the occurrences of in game nudity. So yeah maybe VR chat is okay as long as like if somebody comes yeah, as long as you don't focus it. You didn't mod it in. Basically if you mod that shit in you're fucked. Literally it's, that, that's basically also like shit like Skyrim you know. Oh right yeah 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 totally yeah hundred percent that makes sense. I still won't stream VR chat because of my fear of like, oh, no, 100%. Like, there's, there's definitely be... some bad stuff that you could definitely accidentally submit yourself, <laughs> but you're just playing on the safe side still. Yeah, That's exactly. Uh, additional restrictions. Please note that Twitch may make exceptions for content that Twitch seeks to license, and that is rated by a ratings body or otherwise pre screened by Twitch. And conversations about sex, nudity, and other mature topics that are intended to be educational and otherwise comply with our guidelines should be marked as mature content via the respective channel's settings. I'm pretty sure my channel is marked as mature content. Uh, I I feel like I talk about things that are much more um, damaging to, to to younger ears than uh, just sex and uh, and other related uh, things. Well, yeah, on top of that, like <laughs> they said, uh, one of the sections that said, oh, yeah, you know, there's something about the chat messages, whatever, beyond what is normally accepted in your channel. Yeah. You know? So it's like if you're if you're a mature channel, you're fine. Yeah, there you you're go. not gonna be like this person was talking about uh, the hoo hoos and the wee wees. They need to get the band. Like, that's not gonna <laughs> Please tell me that's your VHS. <laughs> That'd be something else. That, was, that would be great. Oh, that would be me? somebody who joins the anti fucking uh, knuckles. Crew. Yes. Oh man, <sighs> we're gonna blow them up with asbestos or whatever the fuck. And the, and the defensive I don't plucking. Know, man, it was hard <sighs> listening to that shit, man. It was so hard. I don't what? know how the fuck you did 25 minutes of that shit. It was because I needed the content. It was hard watching your 10, man. <laughs> it, that's like 33% or some shit like that of fucking that. Like, I, I don't know how you did that, man. The, uh, really what, we're, we're, what we're talking about, if you haven't seen you it. You had to listen to that again, too. <laughs> yeah, you had the initial 25 minutes, have, and then you had to I edit, edit it, it down. down. I know, I know. Uh, we're talking you about a, VR chat. Three or four times at this point. VR chat with Darnell uh, is a, basically uh, instead of being a compilation of various things, it was one conversation that I edited down because it was so absurd and just so like left field. And I was just like, "What the fuck?" Uh, I had to include yeah, the whole watch, thing. Go watch the latest Darnell video uploaded on Mike's channel later. Yeah, Ebola. That's what it was. Yeah, it's let's... worth it just so you can feel my pain. Yeah, exactly. Please, please feel feel Darnell's pain. Uh, He's oh my god! <laughs> it's just, it was just so good. Like. Yeah, they're annoying. Knuckles' voices and everything like that is so it's annoying. So I left. It's like you're not a perfect fit. You sure? I love I love the concept though of defensive clucking. It's like no clucking. That's that's racist. We can't we can't do that. And then it's like, well, what if we cluck defensively? And the guy was like, Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's see. The FAQ here has a number of uh, of questions here. <clears throat> Examples. I accidentally showed content that was sexually explicit. Will my account be suspended? Before you even read the answer to this, this is something I worry about all the time because I do I do a lot of photo editing uh, uh, on the computer here. And even though I have like another uh, user account set up for all this stuff, this stuff it's on the computer. It bleeds over occasionally. You know, there's I always check before. Uh, before I stream by alt tabbing to make sure there's no like previews that are up. It's just like, bam, boobies. Um, and I always close out Lightroom and Photoshop and close out folders later, that stuff. And I try to keep all this stuff aside, but it's entirely possible that one day I might slip and I'm always worried about this one. So here's what it says. As owner of your account, it's entirely your responsibility to ensure that anything shared on your account abides by Twitch's terms of service and community guidelines. If you're unsure if a link, photo, video, or other content in your broadcast broadcast breaks these, we suggest that you review it privately before airing it on your broadcast. Content that breaks TOS or CG, uh, whether shown accidentally or on purpose, can be reported and moderation may take appropriate action on that content, including removing the content and issuing suspension on your account. Given the nature of live content, we expect to see I expect you to take proper precautions. Even one incident may warrant action. Uh, I've actually I've like done the whole like immediately deleting VODs because of 
accidentally showing things which people don't i've never been caught like nobody's actually not caught not by not by mm. by twitch mm. but yeah sure yeah, um, never, yeah. Uh-huh. no like I, there's been things that have been kind of like eh, it's kind of iffy now just delete a vod just just to be sure like just to be sure just delete the vod before you even finish the stream um i've only had to do it like once really in the past like couple couple uh year or so two days three days past three days yeah i did actually i, I deleted a vod uh, a few days ago yeah i know because somebody in the chat was like mm-hmm. hey what happened i did i missed you did you go anything to the island and i was like yeah he went there like let me find the vo-. oh it's not there yeah 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 that one disappeared well i don't know like, <clears throat> still, it's like, um <laughs> let's see uh why aren't there specific rules about uh what clothing is and isn't allowed on twitch oh as twitch continues to expand the variety of see, content we feature before you go there, sure. like, you use screen capture still because you have a dual, double PC, so you're stuck with basically like you're going through a capture card, aren't you? Still, yeah, yeah. That's the beauty of doing a single PC stream, man. All the game executables, there ain't no way nothing's slipping. Yeah, I know. No, I, 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 I have anything and anyways. It's like, I stalled on it for the longest time too because I was it was so it's such a safe thing, you know, just to have the window capture or whatever. Um, but having the two street two PC stream set up is actually so much easier to. To manage. I know. I, that, that thing is, man, I've got an eight core fucking processor, man. In two years, when that thing finally starts dying, then it'll be worth a double PC setup. Oh, there you right go. Right now, this thing doesn't even sweat. That's what I do, yeah. That's the, my, my stream PC is the old machine. 16 hyper threading, man. 16 Six. cores. It's fucking ridiculous. 16 oh, hyper threading cores. Lie, though. Intel want to hit me up with one of those 18 physical cores, 36 hyper threading ones. I'm just saying. <laughs> I ain't going to say no. 64 gigabytes of RAM. <laughs> oh no man i don't fucking do video editing anymore I don't know what I'm about random, son. uh let's see uh why aren't there specific rules about what clothing is and isn't allowed on twitch as twitch continues to expand the variety of content we feature so comes the need for updating the range of attire that is acceptable for example something that is acceptable for a broadcast at the beach or the gym may not be acceptable for a cooking or gameplay broadcast uh this is actually there was a there was a streamer uh who was she was doing a cooking stream and she was wearing a bikini and i was kind of like oh that's weird uh and she was cooking something with grease i was like what the fuck are you doing uh let's see in an effort to help creators abide by our community guidelines in the same way uh they would uh no nope, they would expectations of behavior in the real world we've updated our policies to reflect what that we will that that we will consider not just the attire itself but also the contextual setting in which it is worn and the intent of the person wearing it when moderating content Please remember that sexually explicit or suggestive content such as nudity, exposing or focusing on genitals, buttocks, uh, nipples, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, that's prohibited. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, there's, the uh, there's that clip that was actually shared recently. I don't, I don't remember the name of who did it, but it's basically a guy, oh, uh, a, a guy like pretending to be uh, like a cam girl style of a thing, like writing someone's name on the board and kind of like sticking his ass mm-hmm. out and all that stuff um and not gonna lie man when i saw that i knew i knew exactly like well i feel like probably two 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 people i've seen that have done that uh exact no, same there's thing pro- there's apparently a lot more man oh i'm sure there is there's, yeah there's apparently a lot more like it's ridiculous like the amount of fucking like when i see people like bringing that shit up on t- oh, twitter that's got shot um, <laughs> 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 uh, it's yeah it's apparently it's apparently rampant it might not be in like a bunch of big ones but apparently it's apparently it's no it's very much a thing yeah it'll be very funny if like you know um so yeah it's uh that that all sounds pretty that sounds pretty good again it's gonna come down to enforcement all of this come down comes down to enforcement uh let's see i'm an artist and i want to paint oh this one i'm an artist and i want to paint a nude portrait not intended to be sexual is that prohibited as we do not yet provide sufficient tools for viewers to limit their exposure to nudity and mature content artistic and educational nudity are not allowed yeah, artistic. Oh, loud. oh, you're. Oh, that's you then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I knew it's that like from the beginning. I wasn't even gonna risk it. Bummer. Wasn't even gonna risk it. <laughs> I mean, I knew you were gonna do it on your channel, but I'm just saying, like, even if it does slip. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um. Uh. There's there was like a spinoff site, uh, or like a, a you know a Twitch clone type site that was popping up here uh, a couple months ago, maybe six months ago. Um. And I went to go check it out. I was like, oh, I'm curious, like, what you know, what what features they have or whatever. And it was. Very, very simple, uh, their setup. But when I went to go view all of the active artists or all the active uh, uh, streamers on it. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. Because I was looking for a place where I could stream uh, editing photos. Uh, you know, the, the you know, nude stuff obviously you can't do it on Twitch. So I was looking for somewhere to do that. And so I came across the site and almost every single there was like 20 people streaming on the site. Almost every single one was drawing uh, some kind of animated character uh, that was nude uh, in, in some in some respect or, you know, fucking something else. So it was very clearly something that would not necessarily be allowed on Twitch. I haven't actually seen anybody stream uh, anything uh, provocative or 
or you know anything sexual in nature uh in the artistic community but that doesn't mean it hasn't happened though <clears throat> was it picarto probably yeah i mean if 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 it's a site that exists and you go there and it's nothing but a bunch of drawings of uh of pornographic anime characters yeah, and whatnot it's definitely yeah. a bad first impression you're going to get sure. <laughs> uh let's see uh, I'm an artist. What do you get? A nude portrait? Yeah, no intended. Okay. So, hey, hang on. Just, a, just a side note before we go on. I'm in the lobby for the next match, and like some guy was like sitting there wiggling at me, so I wiggle at him, and I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him my bandana for this round, you know? Uh huh. Like, this is like almost nine hundred dollars, and he put he immediately yoinks it, and he looks at me. We're wiggling back and forth, and he kind of looks it long at me, like, "What do you want? I can't give you my partner jacket, man." Like he looks <laughs> like he wants more. Like, <laughs> come on, man! I gave you an eight hundred dollar jacket, eight hundred dollar bandana already. Can I have? Come on. Can I have your? Can I have your? Your shirt? I really like. I really like. I, really like, my back. I really like your pants. On. Why don't you give me your pants? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about subscriber emotes above Twitch's? Okay, so this is yeah. All subscriber emotes are subject uh, subjected to or subject to additional policies detailed in the subscriber emoticon guide. Please keep in mind subscriber emotes aren't just for use or present. Uh, and they're da da da. So this is. Uh, I don't feel like this is much of an issue. Um, it ha there yeah, has been issues I've in the seen past. Some some emotes that are like i uh, i don't know if they're gonna clamp down on it still but like lyric has a lyric clench emote which i'll actually post you in a second but this was removed initially because it didn't have the little face animated on top of it as well and it was removed and it was like it was, i think people were joking about it called like clench gate let's see this one here but imagine removing the face so it's basically just like a, it's just a big clenched ass in, is like, this safe to throw on screen yeah, okay it's, it's fine like it's in chat it has a face on it now so it's like so it's okay <clears throat> Oh. It has a face on it, so it's okay. But initially, it's just, you can imagine, like, just take the face out. Oh, and you can it imagine just it's, just, it's just some clenched ass cheeks. <laughs> like, that's all it is, right? It's very, it's very safe, in my opinion. <sighs> clenched butt cheeks has been part of Twitch for a while, and yet someone removed that. And yet, not even, like, I swear to God, like, not a couple days afterwards, someone posts, someone has an emote of Widowmaker's ass. Oh, yeah, I've seen a few of those. Of just that. And it's like, hang the fuck on. A dude's gets removed in very loose underwear but very fucking tight latex ones of the, of the chick that's okay it's like where's the equality motherfuckers like they had to make an example out of lyric but other people it's like no that's some bullshit man now right? it just yeah yeah wait quick question uh, do, uh does lyrics uh emotes include like a bunch of pepes uh, the, uh what that like that's like the frog face over shit yeah, yeah. that's a bunch of those Oh, okay, okay. So it fits the theme. I thought, I, I thought that. Well, he... it's a bunch of cats as well, but like everyone on Twitch is using that shit, man. Yeah, of course, me? of course. Well, there was there was a period there where like using Pepe meant you were like a Nazi or something really well, weird. Uh, I know, I know, I know, I know. Trust I me, I know. I don't think anyone uses the actual vanilla Pepe because like there was an actual like <laughs> there was see. an actual artist of that online who even like who probably has that copyrighted. I think at this point mm -hmm. after that bullshit, and who even like he even tried to kill it off and had like an actual like because he it's from a web comic, right? Yeah. So and I'm pretty sure he even had like an actual funeral for like killing off Pepe after the, it became racist. Yeah. He was like, oh yeah. I just, he just like he killed Pepe off in the comic. I'm like that's not gonna actually kill it, dude. That's not gonna. That's not how the internet works. <laughs> like <laughs> people don't know the fucking source material. I'm reading an article to read about it, man. Like. <laughs> I uh, so someone mentioned. Uh, let me scroll up here. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's for the theme. Somebody mentioned. Everyone's got fucking different faces. Like I, I, I have probably. Why can I see it? Seventy percent of the channels I sub to wow. have a version of that face. That's uh, on that ass right there. Rocco bro, uh, what about the self body painters on Twitch? So, uh, uh, K Pike is like the the leading uh, self body painter, um, and I'm curious. I mean, I've talked to her. I talked to her at TwitchCon, and you know, we were talking about you know the the type of content and everything, which I'm sure she she probably gets asked a lot, you know, because when she does the body painting, I mean, she's effectively in a silhouette. She's nude, right? um she she goes through great measures to like cover everything up she puts like some kind of uh she has some kind of way of uh covering her her nips and her areoles and all that stuff so it looks just kind of like one smooth like a plaster cast almost um but you talked about it and she said that she's been in she had she's had discussions with twitch directly saying that uh um to basically uh, uh make sure that the type of content that she's doing is okay and she's been approved uh, effectively i'm pretty sure they wouldn't like go back on that like yeah right she's... like it would be a little weird for them to like <clears throat> do new policy and be like hey so remember that stuff that basically your whole channel's about we're gonna say no actually go fuck yourself like i don't think they would do that as well yeah i mean in in like you know in current year i would definitely qualify her stuff her content as being pretty wholesome uh like it's just current she does current, year. current yeah oh. yeah current content current year uh but i mean if i if i were to show that to you know somebody who is not familiar with uh with you know cosplaying or or, or body painting or whatever they might just look at that and be like wow like that's 
that's a little too much. That's <laughs> up on that website. Or, 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 that's up on yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, so yeah, from outside perspective, I could see that being as uh, uh, something that may be questioned. But I mean, as far yeah, as right now, it seems like change. it's fine. It'd be a little weird though at this point after they've already like you know set up. Yeah. That to go back on it would be kind of yeah. shitty. Um, also, there's there's like there's no question that there's a talent there. If you've ever tried to draw on yourself, like in the mirror, it is like fucking impossible. Like I I. I I don't know how she does it, uh, but it's yeah. If just try it, just just take a just take a marker to your to your to your boob you or something like that in the mirror and try to write your Mike. name. It's you ridiculous. A, you get a camera, mm. and you point at yourself, right, and then you have a monitor, but you invert that monitor. <gasps> you invert the output. You think that's Boom. What she does. That's Mind cheating. Fucking blown. That's cheating. Like, I she can't do body that. Art, uh, stream uh, tomorrow. Okay, I'll get on it. Uh, I could do. I'll start with Roadhog, like a slightly trimmer <laughs> Roadhog. I'll start with that. <laughs> the fucking esports skins for that fucker that have like the logo on the belly button <laughs> yes <God. No>. uh, <laughs> uh let's see yeah, yeah, hateful freaking... hateful conduct um this one was touched on uh i don't know how much of this is new because obviously this was here right beforehand um I, I didn't know about the veteran status thing i thought that was kind of neat and i'm curious like i, I i've never i've never seen an instance of somebody like hating on somebody because of their veteran status uh so you know i I just think that's extremely interesting it's probably uh, better <clears throat> just to add it in just in case you know sure yeah yeah totally um harassment the harassment one is 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 actually i think it's super cool uh being able to if you can kind of if you could basically confirm uh through research that somebody on twitch is the same person that is off-site somewhere else making these you know these claims or these harassing claims mm -hmm. or whatever um then like i think you said uh, you, you've had people that have yeah, like no, shit I've talked had, to you I've on had twitter people who i got banned who who fucking like actively like even try and stream on twitch yeah they don't they don't like go anywhere but like you know with that attitude obviously but like still they they got banned from it for years and it's like i it's like i went on like i was going to my block list I'm like who the hell is this person oh yeah they still reroll accounts like every like once a year or so and try mm. and fucking whisper people and shit it's like yeah uh -huh, i should totally just get that person <clears> banned <throat> at this point yeah, like I can just totally go through their feed because they probably haven't deleted the tweets. It's like, dude. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. People are stupid. Is he creating user but accounts that harass hate? There. Yeah, revealing someone's personal information against their own will. Yeah, it's obvious. Sharing content. I mean, all of this seems like it's pretty obvious. I think the, the 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 big thing here is just being able to track somebody off site and just say, you know, hey, this person is this person, and they're they're taking that uh, uh, that kind of harassment to another. To another site. Mm -hmm. Here he goes. Yeah. Uh, hateful conduct and uh, harassment in person or off Twitch. Yeah. That makes sense. In person. In person's interesting. That's only here because of IRL. Like somebody going up to somebody else and talking shit or, or, or following them or doing something. You know, oh, I'm so and so in chat. Oh, look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm following my favorite, you know, IRL streamer and being a jerk. I could see that. Um, let's see. Escalate series of kind of see. Uh, do I need to be a target of hateful comic? Okay. No, no, no. A lot of this stuff is like super. I feel like it's just so there's not even a discussion here. It's like, don't, don't, don't be a dick. Like that's, that's what it boils down to. Don't be dicks. Yeah. The thing is though, Mike, a lot of people have to be told that. Yeah. I think that's common knowledge, <laughs> but it's really not. It's really that's the, not. That's the quote right there, man. But, yeah, but you freedom of speech. I oh, know. but guess what? This isn't a fucking public government institution website, is it? <laughs> oh shit! Uh, and on top of that, this is my chat room where they give me the fucking way so I can fucking kick your ass out. Like, people funny. are stupid, man. Like, if you spend enough time in front of the public, you'll know. After a while, people are stupid. I learned that in retail, well before streaming, and I was like, yeah, people online, they're all gamers, right? We'll be fine. Yeah, it's, Twitch was a fairly ple pleasant place across the board early on for the first couple of years but then it blew up and now it's like yeah, it's a flip of a coin you know whether or not when some, some people come to chat you'll still probably get good people but it went from like five percent chance maybe they're an asshole to probably 30 40 percent chance now and there's yeah. a lot of fucking bad people on twitch yeah and somewhere in here too it also makes a comment and, and i'm on a different page now but uh it's some somewhere in here it does say something along all the lines of uh like facilitating that kind of attitude uh, in your chat, so you have to basically take responsibility for uh, for 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 your chat. You know. Yeah, that'll be really interesting because there are some really big streamers that have really toxic chats, and it's like, I know some of them don't go out of the way. Like some of them, like okay, you don't go harass other streamers. You know, like it happens. It's uh, it's not nearly as big. I'm not talking about, like soda popping level or whatnot. You know, because mm -hmm. uh, his chat's very just like memes in his chat. You know, but like you know with our peers, like. Uh, if you don't know, Mike, since I know you don't watch a whole lot of RP streams, 
people fucking hate each other when they RP a lot of time because like yeah keep your are your streamer killed my streamer and RP and now we're gonna go hate on your streamer and call them assholes and shit it's like hmm. no don't do that shit you know so it's like it will be interesting to see if that becomes a thing because RP drama just between like chats between streamers is a huge issue yeah and not to mention the actual like the very large chats on Twitch and how toxic they are just on that streamer's channel not to mention that bleeding over into other parts of Twitch yeah no there's a lot of that <clears throat> yeah I know it is and uh you know, a lot of times the a lot of times the stream is reflective or reflection of the actual streamer or the, the, the chat is a reflection of the streamer himself. So uh, it makes sense to uh, put some kind of cap on it, you know, some some way to, to to regulate it or put the put the onus on somebody you know, because they can't monitor everything, you know, like it's, mm -hmm. it's up. It's up to the uh, the streamers to, to, you know, have a good selection of mods uh, or maybe super strong filters or just be real quick with the ban or something or maybe just, you know. Take an extra step to talk to their to their uh, chat and say, "Hey, don't be dicks like that." Yeah, yeah. that's not, that's it. I just covered myself for at least another month here. All right, <laughs> that's 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 one month of coverage right there. Um, so wait, I'm missing Josh. Josh is saying some shit here too. Um, uh, da -da -da. so just kind of rolling up here. Uh, he said uh, the fact that they have off Twitch conduct as a grounds for action on Twitch is actually a pretty big deal. No, it is. It it, it is a big deal. I think that's. I but I I think it's. I think it's. I think it's current year. <laughs> I think it makes sense nowadays. Like it's, it's there, there's so many different ways to connect to people that of course you want to be able to, uh, uh, to prevent people from, you know, finding other avenues to circumvent, you know, a Twitch ban, you know, so they could, you know, or whatever it is that they end up doing. Um, I uh, basically it is you have to do something to discourage that behavior rather than just ignoring it entirely. Yeah. And that's it. And I feel, there's probably a ton of streamers who, they're just like, well, that's just chat being chat, you know, like that's I can't do anything about it. What do you want me to do? It's just chat being chat. No, you have to do something, dude. You got to do something. Yeah, some people like there's some really big streamers that like they don't even have chat rules that just kind of let the shit go rampant. And it might be OK sometimes. But like if they just put up some chat rules like in like one of the info panels and just added like one of those. If you first like try and talk in its channel, you haven't talked to and usually you get like a rule pop up now that you can uh, toggle on, you know, mm -hmm. like just having that would go a long way, I think, for some people. Yeah. You know? And at least also cover their asses, probably at least a little bit. <clears throat> Olivia's job just got bigger. Yeah. Oh man, I know. Yeah, Olivia owns this shit. Like, well, chat. So, um, amongst other things. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's it's. I can imagine this is definitely an undertaking uh, that she's probably prepared for because she's sure she had a hand in some of this stuff. Um. Uh. So. There is see on there's kind of the copyright violations. Uploading any content that you do not own, do not have the rights to or otherwise not authorized to use violates our terms of service and may make your account liable to DMCA takedowns by third party rights holders. We do not tolerate, for example, rebroadcasting other Twitch broadcasters content. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> Cause I was going to stream the, well, I, I still am going to try to stream the uh, town hall here. Um, yeah. That's usually okay and stuff. I think it's yeah, more yeah, like, yeah. Hey, basically it uh, was verified don't stream that it was okay. a random broadcaster. You can't yeah. restream random broadcasters like me restreaming Lord's game while I wait for him to die in that round. Then we can go into squads. Like that's fine. Cause Lord doesn't give a fuck. You know, it's like we're buddies and he also has inadvertently given consent. Probably one time over the years, I could say, I'll just go with that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, I, I just need a re recurring message that says, re re reminder, these these calls are recorded and streamed for, <laughs> for educational purposes. Um, yeah. Let's see, rebroadcasting a sports match. That's so... <laughs> that was like the UFC fight where the guy was like pretending to play. <laughs> he had his Xbox controller and he had that his wasn't overlay. That was on Twitch, I don't think, but still. It, is, it was yeah, on that, Twitch? It, no, I'm pretty sure that was YouTube oh, Gaming. Oh, damn. I'm pretty sure that's why it lasted as long as it did, I think. Cause that's cause so YouTube funny. Was. YouTube's Wild West, man. I mean, that's where I watch. I watched on YouTube Gaming. That's where I watch the fights. <laughs> I'm going to issue a DMCA violation on Shizzle's channel. Uh, ha! Good luck finding a VOD where I actually did that recently, motherfucker. <laughs> Quit this my VODs after 60 days. Suck on these nuts. Uh, unauthorized private servers. Hey, Josh, that's your field. Uh, we're uploading content from other sites without <laughs> permission servers. of the, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's a real yeah. thing. Like, and, 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 you know, they, uh, um, you know, because they get, I think because they get hammered on Twitch so much, uh, because on top of it, they're, they're trying to like go through other avenues to like other platforms to stream it. And it's just like, just fucking don't stream it. Maybe, maybe just don't, maybe just don't, I mean, maybe just don't play it because you're not supposed to, but you know, maybe just start with, uh, not streaming it. Um, categorize your content appropriately. You're required to categorize your content appropriately. If there are multiple appropriate Oh, well, let's see. It basically just means just change the category. Uh, you set your game to not playing and or set. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty easy. 
music is actually kind of an interesting one because uh music qualifies as kind of as creative and also music when you go to the music channel it's basically a bunch of like radio stations. top five is usually like a bunch of radio and stations DJs like as well. yeah yeah which the djs that that's that's that makes a lot of sense too that makes sense but that could also that he's again that could easily fall under creative too though that's true yeah that's true that's true they don't mix yeah um yeah whenever i stream music point, though, stuff i'm always like so kind of... they, they might just want to go to music just to differentiate themselves but yeah sorry yeah it's neither here nor there either though yep uh let's see oh, 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 jesus christ sorry <laughs> respect Fuck. intellectual property rights <laughs> this is this should be an interview show somebody plays some kind of high stress game while uh <laughs> well, it's like having a serious discussion not ready for that, man. Not right. when broadcast on twitch you should create content that is uh original or you can share content okay, okay content involves replicas derivative recreations or performances of others copyright da, 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 da. uh as this policy applies to music and other performer art performance arts on twitch please note the following performance arts performances of pre-existing works require that you have all the appropriate rights to share the content and or you own the performance of that work Live music performance and creation. Music content should focus on live creation uh, and performance of original music. Uh, whoa, that's that's wow. OK, hold on. Music content should focus on live creation or and performance of original music. You may also stream a live performance of a cover song so long as it does not incorporate recorded musical or other audio elements created or owned by someone else. Recorded music, radio style broadcasts uh, featuring recorded music or uh, are reserved only for approved music labels. Live music performances such as karaoke, covering someone else's music, or lip syncing impersonations cannot be the focus of your music content. How does this apply to like Jovian? Jovian's like my favorite Twitch DJ. And I have him on like almost every night. Every night that he's, you know, he's, uh, uh, that he's streaming, like, you know, DJing and shit. Um, he mixes, yeah, he mixes existing music, which. Because of the interpretation of 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 the uh, of the medium, like you could say, or of the uh, the content, you could say that it falls under you know uh, fair use or whatever. But at the same time, you could very clearly say that it does not, <laughs> because it is uh, a um, a copy you know a copyrighted uh, you know piece of music or something. Uh, that is that is very. I actually I'm, I should check his Twitter. Actually, I'm curious what he uh, if he said anything about this yet because. I'll be upset if this has a negative impact on him because I really, really, really love uh, what he does. And he has not said anything yet today. Damn. All right. Because he's already moving to Mixer, man. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he hasn't said anything. What's that? It's because he's already moving to Mixer. He's already moving them. Oh. He's already moving to Mixer. No one's going to Mixer. Shit. I know, I know. That's why it's a funny joke. Yeah, I know uh it's trans <laughs> it's transformative so it's transformative so copyright wise he should be okay he should be he sh he, sh he, sh he should be but I mean, the thing is like copyright law is um i am no expert but if it's somebody's song they can they can do something about it if they feel like they need to but especially when it comes to music like djs are the backbone of getting music out there like you without DJs, like music wouldn't be heard uh, in, in some in some venues. Um, and so you need people to like that. So I don't feel like there's any label, especially any like drum and bass or dubstep or or whatever fucking, you know, uh, style of music label is going to go after somebody DJing their music on Twitch in front of hundreds of people. It's just it's, I just don't feel like that's going to happen. That would just be. Uh, yeah, that would just be the end of that label for for that kind of distribution. Um but yeah, that is still still interesting, though. But also what this means is uh, after, I guess, after February or after February 19th, um, whenever you open, uh, whenever you like, you know, you have intro, like I, I play like random shit, you know, I'll find some song, whatever on, on Spotify. And I'll be like, it's kind of cool. I'll use it for the intro today. Can't do that anymore. Like, that's effectively what it says. And I, oh, I, does it say that? I thought it said it was talking about like actual the music uh, fucking. So like, record, it's record under recorded music. It's under recorded music. Uh, radio style broadcast featuring recorded music or are reserved only for approved music labels. Live music. Radio style broadcast, not playing intro music. Yeah, but still. I think it's like a whole stream <laughs> that's basically just you're, for music. That's what it sounds like to me. You're still, uh, if you are, I can't, and, and then this is this has always been the case. This has always been the case. And because it's Twitch, because it's live, because it disappears after so-and-so, whatever, like it kind of feels like, oh yeah, I can just play it, whatever, which is, which is not the right attitude to have. I'll, I'll be the first to admit that. Um, thankfully, I write my own shit. So I don't have to worry about that in case if I need music. And actually, for all of you guys out there, uh, anything under the AK Mike B, 
or the negative pH. If you want to play that for your uh, uh, like during your intros or during your stream as background music or whatever, it's fine. Uh, you can't use it for uh, like 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 logos and shit. Like you can't have like uh, here's his negative pH on playing and boom, 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 is my logo or whatever. Like that's 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 a little bit different. Like for branding purposes, you can't use it. But for anything else, you you, uh, you obviously can. Please feel free. Um, it's up on Bandcamp and Spotify and all that shit. And Google Play, so you can find it everywhere if you want to use it. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, I'm. I am, I am, I am very, I'm a little bit concerned about, uh, uh, Twitch DJs actually, because there's been many a night where I just turn on to whatever DJ is going, or even mornings, uh, whatever DJ is going and just listen to whatever they're spinning. And it's, it's great. It's live. I don't, I don't listen to the vibes. It's different. You know, it's like just listening to a live is just great. Like everything else Twitch related. Yeah. I, I just don't think that's going to affect like people having it as the intro music i think like if that's the whole broadcast is basically djing and stuff i definitely uh, radio style stuff i think that could be affected heavily that's for sure i think it's what it outlines mm -hmm. i just i really don't <laughs> all right let me see. that's real i'm not changing the damn thing and they can come at me because i don't think anyone wants to. Like, <laughs> okay. again, i don't play like, you heard it here first twitch come at me you already came at me for your fucking Lord of the Rings bullshit. I can take it. <laughs> <laughs> to kind of take that out as a, all right. as a problem area. right so this is totally. starting here and so the other Hold big on. thing we've done is we've added. Let me go ahead and get in here. Added a concept called hateful conduct. Previously, we had a section that was about hate speech, and there's a list this, uh, of. Um, sort are you of listening? What we call protected classes. Yeah, uh, yeah. I can re I can rebroadcast it to you if you want. Protected under this sort of hate hate no, speech. No, I'm listening code. to it. Okay. But what we realized Let's is see. that. It's not always just the words you use, but it's how you use them. It's the context and the intent of how mm. someone's doing it. And actions can actually be hateful as well. Mm. So we've added a new, new guidelines in that area to protect people from those things. And we actually have added, uh, we've, we've expanded our list of protected classes um, to, uh, Ooh. oh great, we have that on screen. So you guys can read all of these here. It's race, religion, gender, gender identity, ethnicity, disability, national origin, Sex it's and past sexual the sexual content. Age, medical That's condition, fine. physical huh? characteristics, and veteran status are all of the ones that are currently in the guidelines. And so when we say protected classes, what does that mean? That means that if your conduct, which would be inappropriate, and it's specifically directed towards that group of people or a person because of that characteristic that they have about themselves, that we may deem that hateful conduct. Gotcha. Oh, that's not a disrespect. Oh, dang. Step above the other categories that we already have in for enforcement. So the other big Man, change that we've made is that if the admins deem that you Dr. have been hateful and that your conduct is hateful, just, it's going to I, result in an immediate I didn't see that coming, did you? suspension. Mm. We're not going to give people second chances on this stuff. This is really, really, really important. Mm. Hate has no place in the Twitch community mm. whatsoever. This one's pretty obvious here. Um, everyone, and we want to make everyone really clear about the consequences of being hate. Is there really only 8,000 people, 9,000 people watching this? I have uh, bullshit, really? Oh yeah, there's only 9,000. Mm. Oh God, do we want chat up? So nah. Oh God. And I know that you're also Let me see. Admins kind of don't we don't police, thought police, SJW, uh, something that. utopia. We received thousands. Oh my god. From all over the world. Oh my god. On broadcasters, on just close it, Mike. Just close this it. This is, I know, I know, I'm sorry. That was dumb. Uh, you know, they should, you know what? They should really take responsibility for their chat. You know, they should, they should, they should do something about that. <laughs> 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 They got a their account. Get fucked. They discourage it. <laughs> They're not doing anything to fight it out. Uh, <laughs> I don't see any banned messages to you. Think about it. Like when the admins get a report, they have to think about: Is this okay? Is this just kidding? To it, just kidding. Um, yeah, a lot of this stuff is is, is pretty obvious. Um, We're really trying to provide them a roadmap for getting out of the gray area in a really important way. So this could be two things. This could be somebody. Um, maybe says something as, as an expletive that might be, if was directed at an individual personally, might be hateful conduct, but we know they just kind of stubbed their toe and were yelling something out. Still not okay, right? Like, well, we might issue a warning or might have a conversation with them. He's all about PewDiePie when, he's, when he dropped the N-bomb. He's saying that's, yeah. he said, it's, it's not okay, but it's loud. On the other side, 
<laughs> There's, when people are doing actions, maybe they're doing something that's using coded language, right? Maybe they're saying something that they know a certain segment of people will hear. The common coded term for language. This is coded language. Mm. Maybe if the person's dog whistling, like on paper, it doesn't look like they did anything offensive. But anyone that's that's watching that is like listening for that can tell that they're doing something. So it also allows the admins to take action in that regard as well. And we think oh, that's wow. really important to start to like reduce where that gray area is when it comes to these things mm -hmm. and allow the admins to make really intense intelligent decisions when it comes to how they're doing moderation. And I know you've, I've heard you say context a lot. I know context. I don't know how, I don't know what the dog whistle or whistling story is, but I get what he's saying with like coded language. Like, <clears throat> like for example, when we joke about like the photography stuff I do, we use the term tiffs, right? Because it sounds a lot like it's, uh, and also it is the, the format that, that I use to distribute the things, but, uh, or the image format. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's coded language. Right. So whenever some closes open a game where it's like, oh, there's there's some, you know, someone with breasts or something like that, then, you know, typically tiffs will show up. That's coded language. That makes sense. And so, yeah, the thing is, though, that's not uh, that we're aware of right now. No one is taking offense to that. I'm sure someone right. could create something that that stands for. So, sure. You're on yeah. notice, Mike. <laughs> Uh, dog whistle is a term used to describe communication that carries a hidden message for people who are in the know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So yeah, still, like, it's, it's, it's like coded, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. In their reports. So to be clear, Twitch isn't going to be, like, hooking up to these other systems and doing a big ingest and looking through and, like, with a big magnifying glass and trying to find things. But we want to give another, uh, tool to victims of harassment and hateful conduct to make make sure that the admins can like greatly like more greatly consider that as, mm. part, of, as part of this right right and so it's about kind of finding that verifiable behavior yes. and before we maybe we were more limited to the twitch platform itself right and so the, the real key word that you use there is verifiable we're mm. only going to take action when it's verifiable that it was that the accounts may be linked that we know from previous interactions with someone that that is their account and also we're going to be very wary of people trying to also you know doctor evidence and things like that right. the admins are going to be on the lookout for that mm. as well great um and the, the one reminder that we have for people when it comes to all of this is that really what this comes down to is that we are asking people to recognize the power of the words that they have. And if you're a broadcaster and you're joking with your friends on stream, we want to remind you that you should be conscious of the fact that you're choosing to stream in that moment and that your words are reaching a lot more people than they normally would and they have the potential to do a lot more damage. And so, yeah, you know, I don't I don't stream outside of like a select uh, stream with um, anyone really outside of like the few like you and uh, Corey and kittens and, and Josh and and, and Thurm and all of them. Like, obviously, I have like kind of a circle of people that I stream with. But but when I used to stream uh, the WoW uh, rated battleground stuff, uh, there were a couple guys in the TYE in the in the, in the group who would uh, who are not very, I guess, cognizant that they were streaming. Yeah. And so, I had somebody back. I'm not gonna say who. No one's gonna know as yeah. well. But I had somebody back in the Daisy Mod days who I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like it's it's yeah, it's something that you still as a streamer you have to take responsibility for. <laughs> it's always really good to hear that we're working on kind of clarifying. Right, dude. Good to good getting game with. But yeah, sure after a few everything we can to prevent harassment bomb, on Twitch, I think that uh, was for me, that's personally right. something mm -hmm. I'm really passionate well, about. But I know that's not the only thing you came here to talk. about. Maybe I'll today, see it when the standalone comes out. I didn't. So tell me a little bit about what is what even oh, sexual is content sexual policies. content. What are we here referring we to there? Yeah. So to start with, I'm going to go into a little bit of of what how we think about this on Twitch. Um, the Twitch community is an open global community with people of tons of different cultures, of tons of, tons of different ages as well. And because of that, we don't feel that Cliff. sexual conduct, uh, content is appropriate for Twitch. Um, previously, the guidelines uh, had two words about this. They said that uh, overtly sexual content. And now a lot of people thought like, oh, that's just stuff that's like people would mark like not safe for work. That's mm -hmm. stuff that's like way over the line, right? Um, but we wanted to really provide more, more context and, and a larger framework for how we as Twitch look at this, right? So we've changed the terminology to be sexually suggestive. And so when somebody is being sexually suggestive or that's the primary focus of their stream or we think that's a large part of what their stream is about or what their content is about, that is not going to be allowed on Twitch. So the next question that everyone has, right, is like, how do you determine what's sexually mm -hmm. suggestive, right? 
Well, we wanted to use a really comprehensive framework again. Of Is there a bingo thing going for this? Because the, the center uh, should be. We should have made one. Yeah. yeah, we should have made a bingo thing. I want booby streamer should so be in the middle. What we're going to be looking Wait at. Wait to hear it. <laughs> Is we're going to be looking at things like <laughs> the camera angles that are used, camera the angles, stream good. titles that are used, content on the profile, what kind of attire is the broadcaster wearing, what kind of actions is the broadcaster engaging in, and there's a few other ones that are listed in the help article that the admins are going to kind of use and weigh. Mm -hmm. And so this this approach really allows the person just to go to say that like, okay, I want to touch like, on on body painting. I'm, I'm waiting a, for that. That's a big like, one joke in his stream title that's oh, like a little bit sexual our road like, hog depends everything on else it. is fine right so that's that's hey mad russian say. hey dude okay, thank you welcome Ryan back thank you a sexual joke sexual joke in his title and is also wearing a mankini on stream like okay we need to th now now both <laughs> of those things become relevant that's pretty funny and they, they, they kind <laughs> yeah. of amplify and what is he saying about it and then what is he saying are, about it you know, i love this mega man painting in the back yes and so one new concept that we're introducing too is like we're not, we're not going to be specifically policing how broadcasters monitor their chat, but in this example, if you don't moderate your chat and you allow overt uh, sexualization or objectification of, of the stream content, that might be a point that kind of goes into how the admins are making this overall determination of if something mm. is sexual content or not. But we specifically wanted to kind of get out of this, the, all of the attention and focus on someone's clothing. Mm. Um, and we want to kind of turn that over to the broadcaster to use a much more common sense approach. Mm. Yeah, so the focus is going to kind of move away from clothing, but is there anything to be said about, about clothing? Yeah, so we've gone, we've gone back and forth for Twitch on like what clothing has been. In the past, we've had like a specific dress code, and then we sort of moved away from that. But now that IRL exists, we thought it was really important to kind of address that again because certain things that would have been against the rules in the old guidelines are actually okay. And I know this is confusing, so I'm gonna try and break it down a little bit more. So for gaming streams and when you're doing normal stuff, we're just kind of instituting a common sense approach. You've got to be wearing clothing that's like appropriate for general. Yeah, public. for the context. So like if you're going to the mall, if you're going to the restaurant with your friends, if you're going to work. <clears> this part, this normal, part makes total sense. It's, it's basically the same thing that, that you and I talked about you already. Know it when you see it, mm. right? um, that being said, like if someone again, like you have to be careful because like if you're wearing clothing that's extremely revealing, or if you're wearing clothing that's not appropriate, it could be used in that other framework we just talked about, right? And say like that's one point into looking at how they're going to evaluate mm. the stream. So then, for IRL, they're like, well, what if I'm at the beach, right? Like, contextually appropriate is to wear a swimsuit. And we are going to allow that. We're going to allow, if you're at the beach, if you're at the gym, you know people doing green screen beaches, stuff. baby. But you still have to keep in mind the <laughs> That's the workaround, green, green screen beach. You do is you get some nice footage, right? You go and you record the beach yourself uh -huh. with your own camera. Uh -huh. And you get some real, real good we footage, just like an like hour plus of B-roll, clean B-roll. No, like someone... <laughs> No one going. Yeah, they just have the, the you know, best chroma key ever. And then you, yeah, you chroma key and get the lighting done just right, and boom, bam. I'm at, I'm at the, I'm at the really beach. To mention here too, because we're my man really Keeney. What's up? What's appropriate to wear and all of that kind of stuff. I know that you were talking to me yesterday about. Um, I think one person going to try that. This is not an I think excuse at least one. to. I, I want to see that green screen beach. Maybe streamer for what they're wearing or comment on their clothing. There you go. Yeah, so we want to be really clear about this: is that like if you if you think someone's breaking the rules on Twitch. You should report them. Don't 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 actually harass them yourself. Don't actually respond to them. Don't actually don't actually put things in chat and kind of try and call them out. Or you might actually find yourself on the other end of, of kind of the ban hammer. Because it's really important that we let the admins who are professionally trained and vetted make those decisions and not try and like make that call yourself. We want to really limit the sort of like mob mentality because there are a lot of streamers that are at, that are in good faith with Twitch that have unfortunately been the victims of harassment and we want to make and to, to those of you that have been that been makes sense that, yeah it's like <laughs> yeah don't don't worsen the fucking case man yeah Let Twitch handle it. <clears throat> everyone rally behind me and talk about this person's attire <laughs> okay everyone go on Twitter and start <laughs> harassing that person on Twitter for being what a racist prick. Or, it's like, no, or just don't. report it or just report it you know just report yeah. it yeah exactly <laughs> I, saw that I mean, again, that should be, you know, common yeah. knowledge. Okay. That should be common mm -hmm. sense. But again, oh, wait, 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 wait. If, you're, if the context is like I'm doing body painting, like you're right. going to be that, that's another contextual thing that we're going to kind of consider. And also that that also includes cosplay. If you're cosplaying, we understand that. But again, you have to keep in mind all of those other attributes you mentioned, like camera angles, stream titles, contextual, content, AKA, chat, all of those things okay are all going to be not a, yes. so am, I, am I correct in hearing that a lot of this is about the intent of the stream? 
Yes, yeah. So K Pike is good. I mean, I figured she Kotaku would be. will be banned from Twitch first then. It's really hard to, t- to tell, <laughs> right? Like, K- Kotaku likes to rally people to really rally. <laughs> that's that's 100% so we true. wanted to kind of create yeah. like checklists and uh, guidelines and all these things around that so that the admins can be empowered to sort of like make this as structured as possible and so that we can like really make sure that we're yeah intent intent of the stream totally does i know that there's so much more to cover here there's a lot that we could talk about but we only have so much time here in the studio so where can people go to find details and kind of educate themselves on the finer points or maybe even ask questions yeah so there's two links that you can check out the full community guide the url that popped up on screen is it it says uh she says she says we're only limited to so much time here it's it's because it's like it's like a meeting room like at any other business with a meeting room you have to book the book the meeting room for a certain amount of time so like there's gonna be another show or somebody that's gonna come in right after this and they're gonna be like, all right, let's uh, let's go and shift gears a little bit. <laughs> and that will bring you to our help article that has the kind of the more nuanced explanation and all of the the one that's approved by the lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, great. And so I know you mentioned that there's a lot coming that you're still you know people are still working really hard to continue on these improvements. What's kind of coming next? Yeah, so we've got a lot of stuff coming next. Like I mentioned, we're gonna talk more about IRL. We're gonna talk more about enforcement and. We're, we're going to be rolling out a lot more tools and things like for broadcasters. We just actually released today, Automod's now checking usernames. So a lot of people were using usernames for harassment. Now Automod's going to be checking oh, yeah. to make sure that people aren't. <laughs> hey, maybe hey. I'll turn on Automod now. now. Yeah. <laughs> other changes to Automod so that you can add blocked terms and add permitted terms um, and uh, right from your dashboard. You could do that previously, but it was kind of buried in the settings menu. But now also, their moderators are gonna be able to do that for you. So if you if you want your mods to go ahead and start fine tuning Automod even more, mm. and there's one other big change that's coming out for Automod that I'm personally really excited about. Previously, we had five levels for Automod that judged on a bunch of different categories, like hateful conduct, like harassment, and, they're all and things like that. <laughs> and it would automatically sort of select your level. Now, you can select from five levels to all of those different individual categories. Mm. So maybe you don't want any harassment or any th- anything else, but you really want swearing to be allowed. <laughs> that's totally okay. You can totally change up how that And in turn, works. if you really want harassment allowed, but no swearing, you can talk of that. Yeah. <laughs> so that no one, so that your moderators can't. You can harass other people in chat, but only if you say, like do a hilly. Must be wholesome. Number. Wholesome, yeah. wholsome harassment. Details about Just yourself. like pretend you're that uh, was it Flanders <laughs> from Simpsons <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> Flanders, yeah, that's the perfect kind of example. That's the guy with the mustache you're... and the glasses, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Flanders, that's right? Okay. Yeah. I haven't really watched my Simpsons. Highly whole neighbor. Yeah, yeah. Only that level of uh, that that yeah. style of harassment is allowed. We know it's a lot to deal with your community when it's growing and growing and growing, and you want to keep a certain type of community and a vibe going. We want to give you the tools. I would be okay with that chat, honestly. Um, There's one other thing. Everyone is basically Flanders just harassing each other. (laughs) And so the rules go into effect Monday, February 19th. So if you are a streamer, you should definitely take the time to go back and look through your vods. Flanders Friday. Oh my God! Just theme day. Just just delete just delete your vods. (laughs) Just not you, Shizzle. But I mean, like, if you have any questions. Just delete your buds. I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna skim through them. I'm pretty sure I'm probably safe, but I'm still skim through just to see. Eh, maybe on that day, I maybe something. I don't know, but I seriously doubt I break any of these is, rules. Who's gonna go through your vods to figure out that there was shit there, then report the you? The yeah. Well, some no somebody might. It's happened before actually. It happened before. Somebody went. Happened, you know, a few months wait. ago, and we're in this new territory after February nineteenth. The admins are going to look at it. Mm. Um, so we wanted to make sure that all of the streamers had enough time to go ahead and make sure that all of your content is good for the new rules. I might delete right. a couple of well, digitus just in case. A situation where the community <laughs> is going to be really strengthened by this, and I'm really excited about these changes. Is there anything else we should know? Yeah. So um, we wanted to just say that, like. We take our responsibility to the community to heart. Okay. Yeah, they, they mean it. They mean it. They, that's as it is. We'll go ahead. We'll go ahead and read this part. Um, he's basically saying uh, that, you know, we, we didn't do this because we're dicks. We do this because we want to make the place, make Twitch a better place. And I, I agree with that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, after Game Breaker Days, I'm 100% certain people go through, do go through pauses, do anything, downvote, report, fall, place false DMCA. Yeah, like it did happen recently. And I don't remember the name of the streamer, but it was um, uh, somebody found, I guess, in some some vibe like months months prior uh where she had said something um something vulgar or something uh racist or something i don't know it won't be two months because it only last 60 days unless they did it in a highlight oh well yeah yeah so it was a couple months then 
Uh, but still, unless you're one of the unless you're one of the handful of Twitch that still get their entire VOD history, even though we're supposed to be equal. But that's the whole different other story. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. So interesting. I'm I'm afraid to, to actually uh, remove this because the chat is going to be absolutely insane. Uh, don't ban Greek. Uh, they just killed. Uh, you just killed your sites. Uh, no, they didn't. People said they killed the site with bits. People said they killed the site with affiliates. People said they killed the site with check marks for partners. There have been so many uh, kills the site. There are about as many WoW killer MMOs. I know. was just going to use that as an example. I was just going to, yes, exactly. I'm just saying, man. This is the new Twitch killer. WoW, still live. <laughs> Twitch, still kicking. Uh -huh. Where's Hitbox? Where's Hitbox? Where's uh, fucking MLG TV? You killed, you're killing your site with these things. No, 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 no. Uh, I don't understand why anybody would have ha taken any kind of issue with any of these rule changes. None of it because seems... They're probably, the, let's be real, Mike. If you want to expand into people that this is killing your site, yeah. let's look at that one person's chat history. I bet you it's going to be unsavory. I'm just, yeah. just going to throw it out there. Uh, they killed the site when they spun it off from Justin at Allowed Gaming. God damn it, Gaz. You're, you're, you're... You know, you are I, hilarious. I kinda, <laughs> you know what's funny is like I still wish Twitch was only gaming. Like I'd be okay with music and creative a little bit, but like IRL shit, man, I still fucking hate it. There's been plenty of IRL streams I'm okay with it. Like sure. I'm like this is all right, but it's like this so like there's like one or two streams, man, that like it's like I you know what? Watching Moon like walk like 20 minutes behind some fucking where area he should not be while going into the TwitchCon and finding the line was hilarious. Uh huh. He was walking through like so many back alleys and shit, like behind, like in like the, like the fucking like the uh, employee parking lots and shit, and like he should not have been there. It was fucking hilarious. It's like I don't care about IRL, but like that's like it's just there's so many fucking things I don't give a fuck with somebody says shit. Like, oh man, let's have a hey, the music festival on Twitch. Hey, like, really? Hey, um, Sorry. so we're we're I on know, I, we're on IRL I'm right now. Lawn, right? We're, we're, we're on okay. we're on IRL right now though. I know. Okay. This should have been talk show. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> got you, bitch. I, yeah, you got me. Yeah, you're right. Maybe, maybe it's miscategorized. Is it though? I mean, is it? I mean, it's. I'm like, reporting you wrong category. God damn it! it should, I'm streaming. I didn't okay. expect it to be a talk show. I guess it is. I didn't expect it to be a talk show. I thought we were just gonna get into this bullshit. It kind of comes off as a talk show, but it's not a show. It is not technically a show. It's not a show. It is not a show. It's not technically a show. This is not a show. We're just you here like, talking. I'm sorry. Just rip. Never forget. <laughs> Mixer. This, this is the end. Head to mixer, man. Nice knowing Head you. to mixer. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Rib Street Band. Oh, where's the yogurt? It's in It's in here. Uh, I'll let you know how it turns out in a little bit. Um, how expired was it? Uh, it was uh, three weeks expired, which is like the cusp. It's the cusp. And I don't know, man. I didn't know. Hey, I didn't. I'll, 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 I'll let you know because both Declan no, and no, I will lumps. be sick because I put one in his lunch. I didn't know it was expired. It's probably Any fine. Lumps. lumps. Any lumps? Uh, I mean, besides the fruit and stuff? Yeah, no, it's fine. I think it's fine, honestly. Like, I feel like because it's dairy, like, if it We're was rotten, I would tweet updates yeah. on that later. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you know. <laughs> like tweet lo tweet location like from the show. Taco Night fucking update. <laughs> um, cool. So, yeah, just to, I guess just to wrap this up, wrap this show up. Uh, this this non show discussion actually. It's called um, peanut gallery, right? Peanut gallery, yeah. yeah. You didn't, even, That's you didn't good. even name it. You're right. You're right. I didn't. Uh, I named it uh, expired yogurt and the updated TOS because I wanted to make sure I was very specific. We can't call our <clears> show <throat> expired yogurt, Mike. I, I, I guess I, I could. I could. Yeah. Consistency is going to be out of there. Oh, yeah, you're sure. That's true. Um, yeah, because expired yogurt might have lumps consistency. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. We don't. We need soundboard for him shot. Wow, Shizzle, that was the most dad thing I think I've ever heard you say. I'm oh, impressed, please, man. You don't watch my stream, then. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Are you just like dad joking all over the place on the stream? <laughs> always, are you kidding me? Always, always. Bad puns, man. That was good. That was really good. Wow, man, that was deep. That was like I that bring was him like. Bring in with the gameplay and Josh, I shoo him away with the puns. Josh transition like level of of creative, man. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Um, no, I don't. I don't make five different leaps there. I just leap, all right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes that's perfect um all right so uh that's the twitch community saying, guideline updates uh that's uh that's pretty much the entire thing uh, i guess the next updates are going to be on uh, specific to irl uh I, I am gonna wait to see how jovian takes this news uh and if it has any impact whatsoever on his content uh, he's a, he's a as mentioned earlier he's a dj uh, and he streams pretty much every night um and he's super good and you should watch him um 
but uh, yeah, it's I mean, K Pike is gonna be fine. Uh, body body painting uh, cosplayer is fine. Uh, it seems like this is it. It does seem, of course, how they enforce it. You know, pending, of course. Uh, but it does seem like yeah, these again, rules like it all, are. It all, for the most part, <clears throat> of across the board, does. it sounds it sounds good. It sounds like what they should have been doing the whole time. It's good that they're at least moving forward this direction. Again, it all just comes down to really though, will we see a lot of it actually getting enforced or not? You know? Yeah. Because again, like it's been like that for a while. Where again, like you said, like the live stream fails or whatever subreddits where it's like, but this person does this, but this person does that. You know, it's like, and they're not getting, you know, like that. The admins favor this person or whatever. It's like, all right, well, man, yeah. I don't mean, yeah. It turns, yeah, it turns, it turns we'll into see. a lot of, yeah, exactly. There's a lot of. Well, I could find examples of this that they didn't, they didn't enforce it here, and so it'll be interesting to see how many loopholes people people try to find in this shit as well. I, I want somebody to do the uh, the beach the green, green screen beach, yeah, beach thing. I yeah, want I someone too. to do that just just because that would just be be amazing i think that'd be the greatest thing ever um well, what we need to have happen is laura needs to t- laura got one of those oh green screens right yeah laura needs to get that set up right and then he doesn't actually like get swim trunks went swim trunks and a, a you know no shirt on he photoshops that of somebody else into his chair but still <laughs> does on the beach so it's not even him doing it it's just a Photoshop of it, so it's like fucking ultra meta. So it's like hey, he's not even actually doing it, but it's still the green screen, and he's still the beach, so it's still look like, okay. Let's see how that goes. You mean then, like then the we'll uh, Olivia, like, like we'll like, see if Olivia bans him, <laughs> like the like the the strong man like thing with the head cut out that you put yep. your face 100%, through. Hundred percent. Josh, a please. Of some dude Josh, in some please. In a chair. <laughs> Josh, please. I want to see that happen. It's like I want to three or four happen. layers of this. Uh, yeah, ultra meta, dude. You know what? You know what? What Josh does, I think, is kind of funny. Uh, the other day, I saw him do it. Is uh, um, he has the green screen of his actual room, so it's like he has chroma key so in the background. <laughs> like, wow. Uh, okay. and, and, and so when he switches, like it goes to the right. Isn't that Josh? Isn't that what you've done? You have like a green screen, but you have it's but the backdrop is actually your room, and then you when you switch to the uh, uh to the game, you get the green screen or whatever. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw you do that. I didn't. I didn't see you do the transition, so I don't know. If that's it. But I saw the green, uh, the green chroma key through your hair. Yeah, exactly. That's fucking genius. <laughs> Why don't you do the chisel? I, I'm gonna get right on. Oh Lord, you almost got me. <laughs> oh, oh man, I almost yeah. went out and bought a camera and became an IRL stream with the camera. He is so close. So me. close. We'll get him. We'll get him one day. One day, guys. We'll get him. We'll get him. Uh, all right, cool. So, uh, Josh, are we talking about this tonight on Internet Famous? It's 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 a pretty major topic. Um, I know we just chisel and I just beat it up, but uh, we could regurgitate it a little bit. Only fifty percent of my backdrop is green screen. Still, that's hilarious. <laughs> I love that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so much more uptight. No, it's not. It's not even that. It's more uptight and conservative. It's just not quite as loose as it's been. Uh, putting it in the doc, we'll probably talk about it. Need to make sure Pat's okay to talk he's, about it. Oh, when yeah. When you okay. see like the example clips that people pull for some of the shit, it's like, yeah. Sometimes you're like, how is that even getting away with it? You know? Yeah. So, uh, tonight's guest is uh, is is New City. So yeah, yeah, it's Pat Crane. Pat Crane. Again, so, I'm gonna be asleep, so they need to get a a guest. You're gonna. <laughs> Yeah, what is let's just re air this. Every guest is, I'm asleep, so you guys, you guys need to find a replacement. That's well, what it is. That, what I'm <laughs> Little do you guys know, Shizzle is the actual permanent third host on uh, uh, on Internet Famous. He's just always asleep. He always sleeps through a his lot shift. Of resident sleepers going on. <laughs> all right, uh, ain't famous already. Tweet. Ain't famous, huh? Um, all right, cool. That's actually pretty funny. Uh, uh, all right, Shizzle, you gonna go to sleep or are you gonna hang out for a little bit?